Hello, cosmic explorers. Welcome back to Before the Light, where we probe the universe's deepest secrets with that rad 1980s retro sci-fi comic vibe. Today, we're zooming in on Mars, the red planet that's got NASA dreaming big. They're planning to land humans there by the 2030s, with talk of colonies by 2050. You could be the one planting boots on that rusty soil. But hold up, Mars has a fatal flaw, a problem so massive it could stop us dead in our tracks. It's not just the cold or the thin air. It's a planet-wide force that makes Mars fight back. Buckle up for a wild ride into the deadly heart of the red planet's greatest mystery. Mars feels like Earth's scrappy little brother. It's rocky, half our size with a day just 40 minutes longer. Its canyons, ice caps, and mountains taller than Everest look weirdly familiar, like a cosmic postcard from home. But don't let that fool you. Mars is a brutal world. Its year drags on for 687 days, with winter so cold the air freezes solid at the poles. It's like a ghost of Earth, a planet where life packed up and left. And lurking beneath that eerie calm is a problem that could kill our Martian dreams. That problem? Dust storms. Not your average sand-in-your-eyes dust, but planet-swallowing monsters. Every few years, Mars unleashes storms of razor-fine, electrostatic particles that can cover the entire planet. These aren't just annoyances, they're blackouts. In 2018, a global dust storm choked out the sun for months, killing NASA's Opportunity rover. No light, no power, just silence. These storms can last weeks, clogging equipment, blocking solar panels, and turning day into blood-red night. We don't know why they start or how to stop them. If you're on Mars when one hits, you're racing a clock with no finish line. It gets worse. Mars's atmosphere is 100 times thinner than Earth's, mostly carbon dioxide, with no oxygen to breathe. Step outside without a suit, and the low pressure makes your blood boil. Gravity's only 38% of Earth's, Fun for jumping, brutal for your body, muscles waste, bones weaken, and fluids shift, messing with your brain and vision. Then there's the soil, laced with perchlorates, toxic salts that can poison your blood and wreck your thyroid. Tech's fighting back. Drones like Ingenuity have flown there, and robotic scouts could map shelters like lava tubes. But no robot can fix the real kicker, isolation. A call to Earth takes 3 to 22 minutes each way. If your habitat fails, you're alone. No rescue, no backup, just you in the red void. Mars' fatal flaw isn't just its storms, thin air, or toxic dirt. It's the whole package, a planet that doesn't want us. Yet we're drawn to it, hooked on the challenge. It's a cosmic gauntlet, testing our tech, our grit, and our will to survive. Will we conquer Mars, or will its deadly secret keep it untamed? That's the question that could define our future among the stars. If Mars' fatal problem got you buzzing, drop a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe to Before the Light. Keep your eyes on the stars, explorers.